Hey guys, welcome, welcome to my channel. Since we're on year here, hi, I'm Hannah. Thank you for joining me. Um, it is Friday and I really wanted to start vlogging this weekend because I am going to start a project that I'm very excited about and wanted to share it with you. So I'm going to start making my younger sister's prom dress, um, which I'm very excited about. We've been talking about it for years. Um, I think since about my prom, which was six years ago, she said, oh, you can make my prom dress when I, I leave school. And we sort of just said about it, didn't really think it was going to happen. Six years later, she's 16, leaving school, and still wants me to make her prom dress, which I am very happy about. Quite nervous, but very happy. Um, so I want to take you along for a ride, really. I am about to leave the house to go over to my parents to measure her up um, and then hopefully we'll be making the mock-up and the twirl this weekend. So I'll tell you a bit more about the prom dress and the plans and the fabric choices and everything a bit tomorrow but for now I thought I'd take you along and just say hi. back and um, I thought whilst the oven's on ready for tea I'd show you what um, measurements I was doing and how I knew what measurements I was doing. I'll just pop you down here. Right so the pattern that I've bought is from the Vintage Pattern Company who basically take the original vintage patterns and replicate them so they can mass produce and send them out. So this is the pattern that we're doing and as part of the replicated pattern what they do is they send out a little booklet with additional information on how to measure up and adjust the pattern. So as part of this booklet there is a list of measurements that you should be taking. So I measured all of these up and they also give a diagram to show exactly where to take the measurements, how to take the measurements. There's a little bit more information on the page before, for example, where to measure the hips, it should be eight inches below the waist, things like that. So you get as accurate a measurement as you can to compare to the pattern. And then what you do is you look at the pattern measurements. So for this pattern, um, it says that the bust is 33 inches, the waist is 27 inches and the hips are 36 inches. So with a vintage pattern you only buy a pattern in A size and so if you don't fit that dress size you just adjust it. So for Alex's dress I will be increasing the bust measurement by 5 inches, decreasing the waist by 1 inch and the hips is about right to the pattern. Um, also, just to say, I'm not an expert. This is very much a hobby. I've done little bits beforehand, but really I want my YouTube to be a space where we all learn together, we can share tips. Um, so I'll be doing a lot of research tomorrow before I go cutting the pattern and trying to increase the bust measurement. And yeah, any tips, let me know in the comments down below. So. Tonight we've got some pizzas that are about to go in the oven and we're just going to have a really chilled night. So I'm going to leave you here for today and pick you back up tomorrow morning. Good morning guys. It is Saturday morning, we've just woken up from the nicest long lion and the sun's out which it's not been very sunny this week so it's the first day of proper sunshine and I am feeling it. So. I've put on a really, really cute outfit today, which I thought I'd show you whilst we were up here. I'll just turn you around so you can see, out of focus, so you can see in the mirror. I have this gorgeous little crop top on from Abercrombie and Fitch, which has little 
little tie at the back, little wrap around. I love this because I find spring clothing so difficult um, because realistically it isn't warm yet. It's not warm at all yet. But on a day like today, I can afford to have my belly out. I've got long sleeves so I don't feel too bare. Love this top, love the colours, love the shape. I think it's so, so flattering. And then I've got that on with my Levi's jeans. Just normal blue skinny jean, but they're so stretchy. They're like really, really, really comfy ones. And then I've got a little, little belt on from Fat Face. And it would all look a whole lot better if I didn't have black socks on. But realistically, we're at home. I get cold feet. So if I was going out, I'd probably put some cute white trainers on or some sandaly heels. Um, but for now, the socks are staying. So this morning, sadly, I can't quite get straight on with sewing stuff as I have a uni exam this week. And if I don't revise now, I'm not gonna revise. So I'm gonna force myself to do a couple of hours of that this morning. And then I'll pick back up with you after that's done and once I'm looking at cutting the pattern out. Right, revision is done. And I have spent the last few minutes cutting out the dress pattern. So I'm gonna pop you down or actually, I'm going to show you what I've got first. So we're just looking at the front of the dress pattern at the moment because we need to alter the bust, which is the main main brain consuming bit, the main bit I'm worried about. So I'll turn you around and show you what we've got. So we have got, basically, the dress is going to be made out of eight panels. So four panels at the front and four panels at the back so this is the front v-neck and then this connects to this which is a front side panel obviously and they go into the full skirt at the bottom obviously because um it's a 3d dress and it's in 2d they do not fit together beautifully at the moment so what we're going to do to alter it is firstly I'm going to mark on my seam allowance which is half an inch. It would normally be about 1.5 centimetres but with it being a vintage pattern it's half an inch. So I'm going to mark that on just on this top section and then we're going to do some cutting. So that is the seam allowance marked on. So we marked it on down here and across the top and down here and across the top. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut it off at the natural waist, which was kindly marked onto the pattern. So I've drawn a line across here and across here. So then I can alter just the bodice without having to cut into the skirt. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to attach this piece to this piece so it's one side of the front. Right, so now what I have done is where I'd marked the seam allowance down the sides, I have taken little snips along the edge so that I could fold it accurately and I have just mask and taped the two pattern pieces together. So that that is now one side of the top. What I can do now is I need to mark where the apex of the bust is. Okay, so we've marked 12 inches down, 
seven inches across, which the mark is there. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a line up and out and just leave a little bit of a pattern there so that we can pivot that and that's going to allow for the extra two and a half inches to be added where the bust is fullest. have this bit that pivots so I can add in the two and a half inches that we need and then this bit can adjust accordingly to line up with where this bottom bit ends. So that's where we're at. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some par parchment paper or some offcuts from when I was cutting the pattern out and I'm going to stick this down and separate the two pattern pieces again. I'm trying to remember where we left off but I think it was I was sticking the pattern pieces back together and then I went up and ironed all the pattern pieces so they're not too creased when I'm cutting them out. So now we've got a little mess created on the floor. I am about to start cutting the pattern pieces out. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Right so I've got the fabric laid out as far as I can. I mean, it's very hard to actually get four metres of fabric laid out anywhere in the house. So I'm going to do it in sections as we go along. And I'm going to start laying it out according to the pattern. So on the pattern it gives lots of different options for how to lay it out depending on the fabric. So I have gone for the narrower fabric, which actually my fabric's a little bit narrower than this. So I've had to adjust a few pattern pieces. But because this is the mock-up, um, I've got like 10 metres of fabric and I only need four. So that's fine. Um, and it also says with nap or without nap. So that's whether it matters um, which direction the fabric's going, basically. So, for example, on a velvet, you'd notice if you cut one pattern piece the right way up and one pattern piece the upside down. Because the nap would be different and you'd see the like the changing colour or something if that makes sense so they've given options but because this is a calico fabric and the actual mock-up and the actual dress is going to be made in satin so there's not a nap so I'm laying it out according to this so I've got the first pattern pieces laid that's blown away because it is gorgeous outside and I have the door open um, so I'm going to pin those down, cut those out, and then shuffle the fabric down and do the next chunk. So I'll prop you up and then you can watch, watch as I do it if I can get a good enough angle. And I'll speak to you again in a little bit.
Good morning guys. I can't say it's morning for much longer. It's already half past 11 on Sunday but it's been another one of those mornings where we've had a nice lie in and then I've done some revision and then I went for a shower and got ready for the day. So we're here half past 11. Um, I was going to pick up with you again yesterday to show me marking up little marks on the pattern and cutting out the notches but if I'm honest we ended up going food shopping and then it was tea time and then after we'd done all of that I was just tired and ready to collapse so I did a few marks myself um, but I was doing them proper dressmaking mark way when realistically this is just a mock-up so any that I've missed I can just do a pen as I'm going along and the notches I'll cut out as I'm going along but I need to get a shift on really because I'm still really hoping that I can have it all put together by this evening as we're going around to mum and dad's so I can try it on Alex and pin it and see where the fit is at especially, especially with the bust um, after, after yesterday when we altered it so that's what I'm going to do now I might get a cup of tea um, and then make a start with the sewing so it's a little bit later now, um, I've just stopped for a little bit of lunch and thought I'd show you where I've got to on this dress. So I'll just spin you around. The front section of the dress is now constructed. We've got the two front panels joined up down the middle um, to create the v-neck, then the side panels have been put, the darts have been put in and they've been joined on there and we've got one part of the pockets on each side at the moment it's looking absolutely huge not gonna lie um but i'm not too worried about it as there's quite a lot of seams so hopefully it won't be too bad to take it in when i do try it on alex later but this this is currently what we're looking at next we're gonna look at Step five, which I think is attaching some of the back pieces, and then we've got the facings to add. I'm not going to put a zip in this one because I can just pin it on her. Um, there's no point in having it properly, properly made. So yeah, I'll catch up with you again in a little bit. We have a finished dress, so I'll spin you around and I'll show you what I've got done. So here we are difficult to see because it's hanging on the door. I'll um, take you when I try it on Alex in a bit. But it's got, it's got pockets on each side, there and there. Again, it's difficult because it's not on a person, but we've got the bus darts there. It's got a little, little cap sleeve type shoulder and that's just been faced on the inside, the neckline's been faced on the inside. Um, it's still looking absolutely huge, so my inklings are that it will need adjusting at the waist. The neckline might want to come down a little bit, and we'll see how the bust fits when we get it on Alex. But, I think we're going to head over to Mum and Dad's now so I can get it fitted on Alex. Um, also, I really want a cup of tea. I've not actually had one since saying I wanted one this morning. So hopefully we'll get a cup of tea, fit it on Alex, and see what we think. Ooh, out of focus. Really You're gonna focus? There we go. So <laughs> I've been joined by Alex. Now hello. you're gonna say hello. hello. So we've popped the um, dress on, and we're going to start pinning it to bring it in at the waist. We've already made the executive decision that the bust is too low and the neckline definitely wants lowering for it to be more flattering but on the plus side the shoulders fit really nicely the back's fitting really nicely so we're going to bring it in and see what we're looking like but because of the bust I don't think there's many more alterations we'll do to this dress it's just about altering the pattern according to what we find on this dress and making the proper one so I'm going to pop you down as we pin it
Hey guys, this is future Hannah at this point because I've edited the vlog and realised that I left you when I was pinning the dress on Alex. Um, originally I'd assumed that I was going to film on Monday as well because it was bank holiday Monday. Um, but in the end we just ended up like sat on the sofa having a really chilled day, I did loads of cooking. But there wasn't really much of interest to film. So I wanted to come on here and say thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe, there'll be lots more projects coming, lots more videos, let me know what you'd like to see from me down in the comments and also if you've got this far come say hi, love to hear from you. Um, also while I was just finishing this off, I know I said in the vlog that I would show you the fabric that we're going to make the dress out of, so I've got it here to show you. We have chosen a beautiful navy blue duchess satin. So this is a fabric from a company called Bridal Fabrics and I ordered it online. Um, it's got a really beautiful, beautiful drape to it, beautiful sheen. It's quite sturdy for um, a satin fabric which will be great for like keeping a really um, structured bodice. Um, so that's what we're going to use. It is a polyester duchess satin and I think it was about £15 a metre or something so it wasn't too expensive to break the bank but it's got such a beautiful quality to it. Um, so that's something I think is really important when you're making clothes. You're going to make something that you love and that you'll keep wearing if the quality's right because at the end of the day you're making something so it's going to fit you perfectly if the quality is beautiful it's it's the equivalent of buying something high-end rather than buying something off the high street so that's what i'm really passionate about um so yeah that's the fabric thank you very much for watching also spoiler alert that's an off-cut fabric because the dress has already been constructed but you'll have to wait till the next video for that one it is coming um yeah, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.